Footy Greg is taking the world by storm, the footy world by storm at least. So I thought I would jump on the website and try a few for myself to test my footy knowledge to see the most obscure players I can think of. So we can go top right here and we can just click on random and it should just give us a random grid. And here is that random grid. Okay, this is very, very interesting. West Coast and Luke Shuey teammate. Let's start off with that because the teammate ones are very easy to get because you can think of an obscure player straight away that's only played a few games. Brangan Ainsworth, you could go him. Um, Aaron Black. Does Shuey play that game? That's the only thing. I know Aaron Black was a top, not the North Melbourne Aaron Black. Aaron Black, who played Waffle, he was on the COVID top up list and played one game for the Eagles. Was Shuey playing in that game? I'm going to go for Aaron Black. Let's go for Aaron Black, 2022. That is elite. That is some elite ball knowledge. 1.10%. Aaron Black played one game. I think it was against North. I'll take that. Brisbane on West Coast. Um, I mean, Alex Witherden. Jack Regan. They're really the only two. I think most people would go Witherden. So I'm going to go with Jack Regan. I hope it's not too popular. It is popular. Of course it is. I couldn't think of anyone else, to be honest. West Coast and North Melbourne. I'm going to skip that one. North Melbourne on 115 in a season. I would have assumed Lindsay Thomas did, because I know North made a prelim when he was there, so Lindsay Thomas, potentially. No. Shit. Lost 15 in the season. We can get creative here. Um, did they have to have played? Like, because Hamish Free is on the North list, but he didn't play. We can go Blake Drury. He was in my fantasy team for a bit. On the bench. No. Oh, he, he had to have played all 15 games. Oh, I really cooked myself here. Luke Shuey teammate and won 15 games. Did Willie Rioli win 15 games with Luke Shuey? He did, 2.82%, we'll take it. Lost 15 plus games. Think of a rookie this year that's played pretty much every game. Noah Long, Noah Long I reckon would've. Noah Long, he's a gumbler. He kicks a few goals from the pocket, left, right, and south. Okay, we'll take Noah Long, Willie Rioli, Aaron Black, and Jack Rennes that back one. We've got three guesses remaining on this grid. Ooh, very, very interesting. 115 plus in a season and played for Brisbane. I'm going to go Darcy Wilmot, because I think I think he's probably won 15 games this season, Darcy Wilmot. And yeah, it's 2.08%. Lost 15 plus games. Straight away, for some reason, Matthew Lewenberger comes to my head. I played with him on AFL Live 2. That's how I remember Matthew Lewenberger. And Bruce Moore were really bad when he was there. And we've got him, 1.12%. Apart from my dumb guesses, they've just given away me getting this full grid. I've done pretty well here. Okay, now I've got the North Melbourne row. Who's lost 15 plus games? Who's pretty much played every game this season? I could obviously go Sheezel, Wardlaw. Or probably not Wardlaw, actually. Uh, let me go Luke McDonald. I could go him. I'm going to go Luke McDonald. 2.54%. I definitely could have done better here, but oh well. Oh, give me this. The Dockers grid. Here we go. I think I'll get creative with this. St. Kilga Carlson first up. I can think of two. Blake Akers and Jack Nunes. Which one's more popular? I'm going to go Blake Akers being least popular. Let me think of any, any others. Oh, there's one other. Oh, I completely... Oh, Blake Akers, but... Nah, it's not great. One club player for Carlton. So they had to have played a game, because they've just played like one random game this year. We can use that. Jackson Bins hasn't played a game, has he? No, I'm just thinking of random BFL players. Tom Williamson. He played for Carlton, right? Oh, that is cracking. Tom Williamson, 0.16%. That is cracking ball knowledge. All right, left footer, I, I have no idea. No idea. Here I could go like Walters or Amos. With Luke McFarlane on the left footer, don't think so. Michael Johnson, no. Lee Spur, Paul Duffield, no. Morabigo, no. I'm just going to go Jay Amos, to be honest, and hope it's rare. It's not rare. One club player, left footer. <sighs> Interesting one, this. One club player, left footer. I can just go Michael Walters, can I not? Can I not just go Michael Walters? Oh, thank you, Sonny. 1.37. Coach by Ross Lionel, a one-club player. This is where my Freo knowledge is going to come in. Because I can just think of a really random player that's played one game for Freo under Ross Lyon. The first one that comes to mind is... Hagen Schleuth. Jacob Ballard. Give me... 
The Hagen Schleuf play game. That's the only thing. He plays for South Fremantle in the waffle now. Hagen Schleuf. He must not play a game because I or I just can't. Yeah, I can't smell. He might. He didn't play a game. Jacob Ballard's the other one. Not Charlie Ballard, Jacob Ballard. He played one game. I think it was the last round of the 2015 season where we rested 12 players. We won the Morgan Premiership. Jacob Ballard. Oh, that, the ball knowledge on display here is simply elite. All right, now free Maryland coached by Ross Lyon. Again, I can think of guys like Josh Simpson, uh, Tom North. Tom North didn't play a game, did he? No. Uh, Josh Simpson did, though. He played a game. Shane Kirsten, Josh Simpson. Oh my, we are cooking with these obscure Freo players. And Tom Williamson, thank you very much. All right, Ross Lyon, St. Kilda. For some reason, the first name that's come to my head is James Van S, and I have no idea why, but he hasn't played a game yet. And there's only one getting Miller as a right footer, isn't he? Is he? Let me just be a dumbass and give away a guess here with one getting Miller. Of course, he's a right footer. Ross Lyon, St. Kilda, um... Ah, oh, think of someone real random. Was Jaron Geary there during Ross Lyon's first stint? Maybe. Yes. 2008. Jaron Geary would, could be onto something. Give me the keys to the city. I'm not even going to bother with left footer St. Kilgore because I have no idea. Um, Freeman or Carlton? You've got Blake Akers. I've just given away. Alex Silvani? I'm not sure how rare that will be, but I don't think many people would think of it. 18%! You are joking. I'm pretty happy with that though. Williamson, Walters, Simpson, Ballard, Geary, some pretty low ones. And they've just given us another freer one. We'll take that. Melbourne and Hawthorne. Can literally only think of one man. No, that's for Collingwood Hawthorne. That's Tom Phillips. I almost went Tom Phillips for that, which would have been good. I'm going to think of another guy here for this, Sam Frost. These might not be the highest, but I do want to feel out a grid today. Double digit Guernsey. I could be wrong, but I think he wears... Oh, I don't know what number he wears, but... Again, he was in my fantasy team for like a week last year or something. Or this year, I can't remember. But Max Ramsden. This is where fantasy comes into it. Max Ramsden, double digit Guernsey. Boom. Fremantle and Melbourne. You've got Ed Langdon. You've got Jeff Farmer. You've got Harley Ballack. I don't think he played a game for Melbourne, though. Collingwood Frio, you've got James Ash. You've got Chris Main. Oh, Double-digit Guernsey for Frio. I think Adam McPhee wear a double-digit Guernsey. Clancy Pierce wore 46. Michael Apeness. I'm going to go Michael Apeness. Oh, that is a true Frio spud right there. Brody Grundy teammate and a double-digit Guernsey. Okay. Um, at Melbourne, who's just a random Judd McVee, where's 41, again, fantasy team. Cheers, Judd McVee. All right, we could fill out the whole grid here. This could be big. The double-digit Guernseys really saved me. Fremantle and Melbourne. Oh, I've got Langdon, I've got Jeff Farmer. I think most people will go oh, Langdon, so I'm just going to go Jeff Farmer. And I hope it's not too high. I'll take a bronze. Fremantle and Collingwood. James Ash. Chris Main. I'm just gonna go Chris Main. Hope it's not high. I should have gone James H. Bro Grandy teammate at Melbourne. Uh Kay Chandler. Could be random. Charlie Spargo. Alex Neil Bullen. The Hats will play a game. Ben Royan. Oh uh, back what's a random Tomlinson. Oh, uh, let's just go Tomlinson. I'm still gonna think of a really random player. And he's not that random, but I'll take it. 1.73. And Brody Grandy teammate. At Collingwood, Travis Barco. Why not? I don't think it'll be that rare. Ah, 2.23. We've completed the grid. I'll take that. I think that's decent. Sam Frost and Tom Phillips and Chris May have all definitely stuffed me up. But that's okay. All right, that's the end of my display of my fully grid knowledge. If you want to go check out this fantastic game that they update daily at 8 p.m. Eastern for a new grid every single day or play past grids, it'll be the top link in the description. Go check it out if you haven't already because it's taking the fully world by storm. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.